All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be taking a look at and discussing something that I just happened to come across a couple of days ago. Now, this was something I found fairly shocking and reprehensible, but even more so to find it on a platform from a company that considers itself such a paragon of virtue that it will strike and delete videos about things such as vaping. They require you to count it as drug activity, harmful and dangerous behaviors. I have to mark each one of my videos as that if I do any type of vaping in it. They will also delete entire channels that have anything to do with smoking marijuana, even though you're in a legal state where it is perfectly legal. But then they're going to allow videos of somebody shit-faced drunk driving around in their neighborhood, yelling racial slurs at everybody they happen to go by. Now, some of you may be familiar with the person I'm going to talk about who is going to be in the video we're going to show here in a minute. But first, I thought I'd give you a little bit of background about how I came across this video. And it isn't quite so much a video, I guess, as what they would call a stream. Now, I've always been familiar, of course, with like Twitch, where you do have live streamers most of the time just sitting there talking to their audiences or, of course, um, gaming, doing things like that but just recently I came across a phenomenon called IRL streaming if any of you are familiar with that then you may be familiar with the group of people who do the RV IRL streams now I happen to kind of discover this by chance through the YouTube recommended video feeds things like that because I recently started watching some videos from Ice Poseidon, who is probably one of the biggest streamers and IRL streamers on the platform. And he was doing a trek to Mount Everest base camp. And I have watched a lot of mountaineering videos, um, stories about, you know, disasters on Everest. Just sort of one of my personal hobbies, things I like to watch when I'm looking at YouTube. So anyways, due to my interest in mountaineering videos, YouTube thought, hey, maybe you'd be interested in this. Put it up on my feed. I came across Ice Poseidon side and somebody I'd never watched before but I did enjoy his um, streams on his hike up to Mount Everest base camp it was interesting seeing the different villages of course he wasn't actually climbing the mountain but going to base camp you know was an interesting journey so because I started watching those I guess YouTube and their infinite wisdom thought oh well I guess you'd be interested in these other IRL streamers so I came across this group of streamers who go around in an RV travel the country it's sort of like uh, MTV real world or something a house you know full of streamers all doing content except it's in an RV and I gotta say it's pretty disgusting pretty deplorable it's just basically a bunch of people getting drunk or doing drugs or getting wasted fighting with each other drama then they'll go out into the streets and they'll just basically harass regular people as they would say press them to get content so whatever, I mean, it's not something I would be interested in seeing. I was sort of amazed that that is something that's allowed on YouTube, considering how strict they are on a lot of other content. But anyways, to each their own. You know, if that's what people want to see, if that's what they consider content, these guys do seem to have somewhat of a following on the channel. But... Just, I think, the day before yesterday, in my recommended feed, I get a stream of what looks like, in the thumbnail, a guy who just apparently, even from the picture, looks shit-faced drunk, but he looked like he was behind the wheel of a car. So it caught my interest, and I'm like, what? Obviously, they're not going to have a guy who's driving around drunk on YouTube. Certainly, the channel, the platform that isn't going to allow you to smoke marijuana in the safety of your own home in a legal state or delete vaping content isn't going to have something where a guy's doing something so obviously illegal. So I click on the video, and to my shock and amazement, there's a guy obviously highly intoxicated, driving around, swerving in his car, screaming racial slurs, literally the N-word, every other word, yelling at people out of his window. I was just in disbelief of what I was watching. Now, some of you may be familiar with this streamer. He has been around for a long time. I have found out since seeing this that he actually was somebody who had a Twitch channel. He did gaming videos and over time, I guess, devolved into this person who basically gets drunk on streams as his regular shtick. I guess people even donate for him to take shots and things. I have heard that he wets himself, possibly craps his pants, and who knows, all for entertainment, I suppose. That's bad enough. But when you're actually going to have somebody who puts themselves behind the wheel of a car and starts driving around the neighborhood, endangering the people who live there, pets, kids, 
whoever was unfortunate enough to happen to be out on the street, that's where I would draw the line and be like, what the F is going on around here? And even I got to say what the F, because I know my videos are going to get restricted just for using the F word or saying damn or shit or hell, whatever. So I guess I'm taking a chance right now by even doing that. And yet they don't seem to have any problem with this fucking blackout drunk guy driving around in a car saying the N word every freaking tenth word coming out of his mouth. And so like I said, some of you guys may be familiar. The streamer's name is Blade. This is a little bit I was able to actually clip from the video showing what he was doing that night. The video has since been deleted on his channel, but he was back up later on that evening, you know, getting drunk and doing his regular thing again. So anyways, you guys check it out. You are poor niggers. I'm figuring out niggers. I like driving niggers. Can you help me out here? Yeah, I don't think so. What do you mean? Fart, fart in the mouth, brother. Do you have a light, nigger? You got a... What's up with the Vaha? Nigger. I'm super late, dude. I shouldn't be driving around here. Dear hot, baby. I hate you. Nigger! I want a light, nigger. For those of you who are not familiar with this phenomenon, I again am sorry that I introduced you to it at all because it is pretty disgusting. I gotta say, I was forced to watch that live stream probably two or three times in order to get the clips and then to do the editing. And I honestly felt like I needed to go take a shower after being forced to watch this thing several times in order to make this video. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for me. You guys go hopping in the shower, clean that fucking degenerate horrific lowest common denominator of humanity off of yourselves and then i will catch you guys right back here with a brand new video to take a look at something much more wholesome like a vape product that we're going to be reviewing all right you guys have a great rest of your day it can only get better from here and i will catch you next time indoor smoker signing off